what's up it's your girl Haitian doll that Sophia back at again with another YouTube video talk about city community all that all that if you are new to my channel definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you become part of the dollhouse today make sure you like comment and share this video greatly appreciate all the likes and comments I love interacting with you guys in the comment section down below and I greatly appreciate the shares especially because as a youtuber it doesn't matter if you're a small big size medium sized youtuber it can be hard to receive shares so seeing those shares definitely it makes it just it definitely makes a youtuber's day to know their content is being shared and loved so I greatly appreciate that and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss none of my saucy and fire content and with that, we're going to begin today's video, but if you are new here, you should know that I always do the shout out of the day and the outfit of the day. Basically, the shout out of the day is me shouting out one of my subscribers slash supporters. And I'm a YouTuber that loves supporting people on my channel, so definitely if you want to share, not share, if you want to support each other, definitely comment down below. I'll definitely support your channel. And that's pretty much it. So shout out of the day is basically me, me shouting out one of my subscribers that supporters on my channel. I'll let you know their most recent video, what type of content they have, and just like a gist of their channel. And then the outfit of the day is just me showing you guys the outfit. So if I am doing a vlog, I tend to take a shower, change my clothes a lot. So I will show you guys the outfit throughout the video. So that's what we're going to get in before we start today's video. So the shout out of the day is going to Narayan Nicole. Give me one second so I can grab my iPad. And I have a new case for my iPad. It's actually a keyboard case and I'm probably going to be doing a review on this. But that's neither here or there right now. But new case. Probably going to be doing a review on this. It is actually from Amazon. So as I said, the shout out is going to Narayan Nicole. Her channel is basically like my channel. She has a little bit of everything. Vlogs clothing hauls um sit down videos like these stuff like on my channel that i has as well so she has a little bit of everything her most recent video was a vlog and it's titled vlog too much going on quitting my job needing surgery new hair and getting ready for my birthday and it currently has 1.5k views so she is killing the game she has been consistent with youtube and consistent with vlogging and that is pretty good because as a YouTuber, vlogging can be hard just because you may have a lot going on and you don't have time to pick up the camera, grab your camera. You just have a lot going on. Like me, I do have a lot of stuff going on outside of YouTube. So when I vlog, I vlog when I can. But we're back on the consistency game as much as we can because I told you guys why my consistency went down because YouTube wasn't letting me upload certain things. As far as like actually getting it uploaded and then it was just lagging. Sometimes I couldn't upload videos for weeks, months. Then there is just me being busy. But right now I'm trying to really tap in to just recording as much as possible on my off days. Or when I have the chance because I really care about my YouTube channel and I'm passionate about YouTube. So that's that. But that's our most recent video. It's a vlog and I've been subscribed to her, ch her channel for quite a while now. She has playlists on her channel compiled of, she has a shorts playlist, a vlogs playlist, a makeup talk through playlist, and let's see what else. And on her about tab, I'm going to try to do like a thorough shout out when I do my shout outs now, so yeah. But on her about tab, it says, I live in front of the camera, welcome to my world. She has her Instagram and Facebook there. And that's pretty much it. So you guys go ahead and check out Naraya Nicole's channel. She is actually a Lando YouTuber like myself. And she is a very avid supporter of my channel and I greatly appreciate that. I haven't been like on YouTube a lot, a lot, so I've been missing a lot of her videos. But I am a supporter, supporter of people that I subscribe to their channel. So I'm going to get back to doing that because I am that supporter. But I be so busy, so I try to find time in between to like, you know, watch other people's videos. But that's neither here or there. All her information will be in the iCard description on the screen. Most recent video will be in the iCard and her channel name will be in the iCard. Down below you will find her Instagram, most recent video, and her channel name. And then on the screen you will see her recent video, her Instagram, and her channel name. So go ahead and check out Ryan Nicole's channel. As I said, you will love her channel. Her content consists of a variety of videos and she loves to vlog. You will see a lot of vlogs on her channel. And it is spelled N-E-R-I-A-H space N-I-C-K-O-L-E-E. -E. 
So you guys go ahead and check out her channel on Instagram. Support, show love, turn on those post notifications, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Let's move on to this outfit of the day. And it's nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Um, because I'm literally at home filming. But I have on this sleeping shirt. This is it actually came in a set from Rainbows. I got uh, this pajama set from Rainbows. And it says I don't even know what this thing says. Oh, if you love if you love me, let me Y'all hold up. If you love me, let me sleep. Yeah, it says if you love me, let me sleep. And I just do this on because we in Florida, it's kind of hot. Even with AC on, you just want to be like real comfortable, not too hot. Then I have on these black biker shorts that I got from Ross. I think I um, showcased these biker shorts in my Ross workout clothing haul. And then I have on my infamous Nike pink, blue, and white slides. And y'all, it is time for me to take this protective style out. The new growth is definitely new growth in like... I didn't do my edges because I just came from the gym and I'm trying to let my hair breathe from all the sweat and everything. But I'm trying to take this protective style out next week because, baby, the new growth is new growth. And I literally, by next week, I'll have this style in my head for two months. And it is time for a new style. I want some mini braids with beads with my natural hair because I had some mini twists and I didn't put beads on them. And I kind of regret that because I thought, it was, I think it was going to be really bomb with the beads so i really want to blow out my hair really good so i can get it a nice stretch so i can get the braids and put the beads on them in my little accessories and do the dang thing so let's get into the title of today's video today we're going to be having a girl talk slash rant video might just be titled girl talk and we're going to be talking about toxic relationships so I wanted to do this topic. <laughs> I wanted to do this topic because I recently was in a toxic relationship, like a actual relationship, like romantic relationship. So I'm gonna be open up about this situation, even though I'm not trying to spill, 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 but I'm trying to give you guys a good gist and kind of just talk about my experience and why did I want to do this video. So basically, this to toxic relationship lasted for two years as far as dating-wise and then for like talking-wise. I want to say we were talking for like a year, maybe two years. So you could say like this toxic relationship was like four to five years that this person known me. And they still know me now, but I don't communicate with this person for the simple fact that they did a lot of hurtful stuff to me when I wanted to end the relationship. And it took a lot of strength for me to end the relationship because it was very hard because as a person that's in a toxic relationship you go through a lot and you feel like oh there's still hope and you invest all this time um i don't want to say the relationship is about money but time money whatever you invest in that relationship and when you get that feeling like okay you want to cut it off it's like hard so for me it was like really hard to cut off this relationship and even open up about what I was experiencing in this relationship and it just was like a really hard situation for me so when I finally called it quits a lot of things happened if you follow me on social media you will see on social media that this person actually hacked my account and it's taking a lot out of me to say this right now because this person acts on impulse so like let's say I do something not even I do something let's say I just talk about a situation or let's say I don't reply to this person that's trying to attack me they'll go and re-attack me so it took a lot out of me to like just not care that this person is doing this because it is what it is at the end of the day but as I was saying um basically this person hacked my social media and I know what you guys are thinking, how did they hack your social media? So, while I was in the relationship, I gave this person the password to my Instagram. Because it's a lot of crazy situations inside. So, why this person had the password to my Instagram. But it wasn't like, no, over in the relationship. Oh, I'm going to have the password to your Instagram. Do I have personal reminds? I didn't even have this person's password. And, yes, that was a red flag to me. But it was like something, okay, you're going to have my password for a little bit. And I could change my password back, you know. It was like one of those situations. It was like I was thinking, but I wasn't thinking, if you know what I mean. So, 
with that person having my password when stuff had hit the fan that day in october this was literally in october when stuff hit the fan in october it was just like this person hacked my instagram went to posting videos of us doing <laughs> if you grown and you know what i'm talking about posting videos of us doing stuff um posting pictures of me explicit pictures it was just a lot so during that time it was a very emotional little <laughs> emotional experience for me and it wasn't even like i care about what people think it was more i care about people that what people that know me think like i'm talking about family friends okay i cared but not really but i'm talking about family that follow me on social media like imagine scrolling on social media and just feeling, seeing me booty butt naked or seeing me engaging in those kind of activities like that's shocking so with that came a lot of backlash came a lot of reprimanding because i let the situation get too far and i did i seen a lot of red flags and i knew there were red flags but something was in me was like okay don't give up you know keep going because i really like i thought there was hope for this relationship and for this person but at the end of the day i don't regret anything that happened because it just showed me that sometimes you have to go through a lot to know when it's time to give up on something and me and this person do not keep in contact anymore this person still try to contact me to this day and i have nothing to say to this person because you tore down my character so much and there's nothing for me to say to you i don't wish ill on this person but at the end of the day i'm not gonna hold a conversation with you like i'm not see this person in person it may or may not be an argument a fight but what i'm saying is sometimes in this toxic relationships you know it's toxic but you hold on to it for whatever reason and that's literally what i did and i'm just such in a better place right now and there's people that have opinions on like what i'm doing right now the moving on process that i'm going to going through but at the end of the day it's my life i'm gonna do what i want to do and i'm in a better place right now with the person that i acquainted with and that's what matters at the end of the day um the person i acquainted with you guys will probably see this person on my channel very soon because i just feel like if i'm in a happy place i want to i want to showcase my happy place and at the time i did showcase that person but there was stuff going on but it was like there was a happy side of the relationship there was a toxic side of the relationship there was a sad side of the relationship there was a mad side of the relationship it was like everything jumbled up in one but that person got showcased on my channel and yeah and i'm not deleting those videos because i'm i'm <laughs> i got monetized from that content and I delete those videos, I'm going to lose my watch hours. So it's not like a thing of like, oh, I just want this person on my channel. No. I'm already in another relationship. Like I said, you guys will probably see this person on my channel soon. But I'm just, I'm doing me at the end of the day. I'm living life. I'm doing me. I'm in a happy place. And I'm going to continue to do me at the end of the day. But you'll probably see this person on my channel very soon when i say soon probably like one to like three months you'll see this person on my channel because i want to showcase my happy place and <laughs> if you follow me on instagram you probably already see this person on my instagram story like i'm just you know i'm just throwing it out there a little bit and with this person being in my life there was a lot that came with that so basically before me and this person were even like in a talking stage i was talking to this person about stuff that i was going through in the current relationship and then it was just like that's where it spiraled out of control with my ex going through my messages getting mad that i was talking to this person about this thing opening up to this person and stuff just escalated then 
one thing led to another we went up into the talking stage talking stage and then talking stage for a couple months then it hit relationship stage and as i said guys i don't regret anything what i did learn from this experience is that you can do so much for a person you could be there for a person as much as you can but at the end of the day when a person wants to have control over you and over your decisions over your life they'll do anything they will threaten you they will ruin your life and then try to come back in your life and think a sorry will suffice and say oh you're responsible for the situation like so much narcissistic behavior and I'm not gonna lie in the beginning yes i was woohoo crying yes i was like i was like emotionally scarred and i was like oh i'm never gonna come back from this situation i'm gonna continue to be in the sad stage be in the revengeful stage be in the um regretful stage like but i i deep down i knew that what time all of that will calm down all of that would have boiled down and out in a state in the state of mind that i was because it all takes time for everything like I, I knew deep down but it was something in me that I just kept wanting to still oh i'm gonna continue to feel like oh if i see this person it's gonna be this and that and i want my family to you know do this to this and that person but at the end of the day i was acting out of anger i was acting out of sadness but what i will say is i just can't understand how you can sit there and do all this to this person and expect for this person to sit there and communicate with you when you want to communicate with them like when your life is not how going how it's supposed to so you want to come back in my life and just try to communicate with me like i would never fathom that and i would never be cool with that and i'm you're not going to get a response out of me you continue to get responses out of me um whether it be whether i even showcased it on social media you knew that you got responses out of me because you knew how my character was and you knew what i stood for and what i didn't stand for but now me being a person that process everything if you go on social media and you attack me again i don't even care anymore because you attack me on social media like what three two times it's just like i don't even care anymore continue to do your dance and I'm not going to engage in that toxicity because at the end of the day, I know who I am. I know what I do. I know what I stand for. And I know what I'm worth. So if you want to continue going back on social, going back and forth on social media, my bad. When I get engaged in something, I'll be talking fast as free. But if you want to continue going back and forth on social media with yourself, do that. Because you're not getting no more energy, time, money, love nothing out of me that situation been dead it that relationship been dead it and keep me out of your space keep me out of your mind that's it so i wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about my experience i know i didn't give you guys much to go off of because <sighs> y'all that was very that was a very pressing pressing relationship like there were suicidal moments and that wasn't like that wasn't that wasn't like the only suicidal moments I had in my life, but there was there was abundance of suicidal moments in that relationship. So, y'all, and I'm not about to like I'm not about to cry on camera because like I have my moments when I'm like oh like I will cry in a bit to talk about something, but right now I'm not I'm not in the crying mode right now because I could just talk about this comfortably right now. I could kind of like laugh about it, like not laugh about it, but like kind of like shrug the situation off a little bit now that it has time and all to it. But before when I was in that stage, when I was like adamant about it, waterworks, I'm talking about aggression, all that stuff. But now you're not gonna get that behavior out of me you're not gonna deter me from who i am and me about me knowing my worth i know what i'm worth like i would if i'm with somebody oh my god if i'm with somebody but i would do anything for you i will i will spend my last on you i will shower you with gifts all that stuff like so for you to do that to me like that really hit home for me because like when i'm in a relationship i put my all i put a million percent a thousand percent a billion percent whatever i put over a hundred percent in that relationship so when i get 
played when I get used when I get this when I get that like it hit home for me and I've had a number of toxic relationship but this one was like the icing on my cake because of everything that happened after it was like you already was toxic but then when we ended it you continue to do more toxic stuff so you just added on to the toxicity and then just show that you are already toxic so it was just like that situation just hit home for me and let me know that yeah it might be the time for you know you to go on a mini hiatus and if it comes your way it comes your way so it ended up coming my way when i say it comes my way if a relationship could come your way love come your way something comes your way it comes your way and it came my way but as i said you know i'm just chilling right now i popped out a little bit many pop out many pop out but when i pop up on youtube that's when the pressure is gonna be at right up because we need to refresh up the channel we need to spread a little love spread a little light because i deserve it now let's talk about my worth so when i say my worth like i think i'm that girl like i feel like i'm very mature for my age if you guys don't know i'm 20 years old for the people that are new here this may be your first video of you seeing me and i'm here sitting here talking about toxic relationships and my experience with them but girl y'all probably could relate to me so yeah but um my word um i feel like i'm that girl i got a lot going for myself as i told you guys i am my third year of college i'll be graduating next year um, I'm always getting good grades and I'm just ready to take life by the hands, <laughs> life by the horns and just ride that bull because I'm that girl. Um, I've been learning Spanish. I kind of already knew Spanish. I talked about that in my life, life, uh, life update video and what else do I have going for myself? Um, I go to the gym consistently four to five days a week. I keep up with myself. I work. And about work, like, I do want to work a little bit more than I am now. Because I have some plans. Like, I'm trying to get my own car. Right now, I am driving a car, but it's not my car. So, I have some plans. And I might be doing a separate video about the plans that I have for myself. Just, like, a refreshing up on my goals and everything but when i get a good amount of money coming in especially with taxes coming in and everything right now a lot of people are you know trying to get new cars new this you know just revive up their life so when the money comes in like how it's supposed to come in i want to give me a car and most potentially probably get an apartment because like i just want things moving for myself yes i am 20 years old and people are like if you don't move too fast if you can save you can save but i'm not gonna move too fast obviously like i like I don't, you never want to move too fast to the point that you're just like broke by the time you move out or broke get in a car like i know what to do but if the money's there i definitely say go ahead and do it if the money's there because you will regret that decision decision especially if you're a person who craves independency like if you're already independent but you're still living with your parents but you crave that more independency as, as far as like living on your own or living with someone else that you agreed to live with stuff like that definitely do that when you get that moment because it'll be the best thing for you like it'll be like a moment of awe so that's why me i definitely put that decision on a high pedestal now because it's getting to the point that that's what i want to do because i was saying before I, before i was 21 or when i turned 21 that's what i wanted to do and things are going good with that but i definitely had to cut back on a little bit more spending and it wasn't even it was like a little bit of eating out as well I know this is a talk about toxic relationships, but this kind of ties in to toxic things as well. Not toxic, but like <laughs> um, overspending, which is kind of toxic as well. But um, eating out, I ate out, but not an excessive amount of like some people that you know that eat out, eat out, eat out. And they have um, cribs, like they have an apartment, they have a house, and it's like it gets overbearing. But I did eat out a little more than I usually do like in the past couple of months i want to say like i want to say like when i started not even when i started my job probably like the month after i started this job that i'm currently working i probably indulged in eating out 
a little more than usual and I cut back on that that really helped um saving wise then I cut back on monthly subscriptions that like they were unnecessary like I always had a Netflix account and sometimes I'll cut it off, cut it back on. But I this time I cut it off for good. I'm going to be using somebody else's Netflix. And so right now I'm going to be only paying for Hulu and Amazon Prime. Lord knows I contemplated about shutting down Amazon Prime because Amazon Prime, I mean, it's only $6 a month. But you can't just always say it's only $5, it's only $4, it's only $3, it's only $2. Because all that adds up, especially if it's hitting your account every month. And top of that, having other subscriptions, it all adds up. And then on top of that, um, I also had, I also have my Hulu subscription, which is six dollars and it's six dollars and some change every month with the taxes. So I was just like, just to consider the following: if I could get another person's Netflix, get another person's Netflix because Netflix was the um, most expensive of all the subscriptions. Then I canceled some subscriptions for some games that I had on my Oculus Quest that I was using for some like because I wanted to try it out and I wanted to see what like the full trial would be, like the full access would be. And I was paying $9.99 for some of that stuff. And I'm just like, if it's not, if I'm not using it, cut that off. Then I was paying for check and check check help check helps you on your homework assignments. But check was charging me $14.99 a month. And I probably had that for like two, three months now. Cut that off. Like cut off them unnecessary subscriptions. Cut off eating out. And then stuff like I was like I want to say like with gas like I would rush to put gas shooting it would be like half full and that wasn't really good because I was overdoing it I wasn't waiting till it was like not too close to eat but close to eat so I learned that as well like that was another way of me overspending just because I would always think oh it's half full go put gas but that wasn't really the way to do it so stuff like that will really help you cut back on things and not online shopping like I really don't online shopping online shopping I really don't online shop as much anyways but not online shopping too much and if you do online shop try to get things that you know okay like I recently for example I recently just bought um from Amazon um shampoo conditioner and deep conditioner um the Aussie moisture and that's something I'm gonna use for my hair because as I told you guys I need to take my hair out but I already had shampoo already but that's I'm ring up so when the time comes I don't have to be pressed to buy products you know I already have it there and I still have shampoo and conditioner but I just bought that in advance because I needed deep conditioner and it was easier and more cheaper to spend on all three of them together and buy them individually if you get what I'm saying and then I just bought a couple of hair products for my hair. It's a bit like uh, 42, 40, 42 to 45 dollars on everything. So it's about just making like smart decisions in advance. Right now I'm making like, oh, I'm spending on hair products and I already got that. But then it's like when you get it out of the way, you don't have to worry about it for another month, two months, three months. Especially with my hair because I protect this style a lot. So things like that will help you a lot and not hurt your pockets as much. And sometimes staying home will help you as well. Staying home will help you as well. Like today I'm off. I was home. And then I got I left home at like eleven something to go to the gym. Got back here at one something. So sometimes staying home will help you as well. Like I know sometimes you wanna go out, you wanna do this, you wanna do this and that. But staying home will help you gravely in your savings process gravely 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 and i'm not opposed to staying home because i am a homebody and with me being home i can do things like record videos clean just do my prayer journal um do duolingo stuff like that watch tv catch up on shows because when i'm off that's like when i'm able to do a lot of things when i work like when i get off and then i have to work the next day I have to wake up early in the morning, so it's just like I'm not trying to, you know, stay up too long, trying to, you know, whatever I can do after I get off, I do it, because sometimes after work, I do go straight to the gym. So, like, whatever I can do after I get off, I do as much as I can, and if I can't do it, I'm not going to strain myself, because I strain myself a lot, 
in the past and recently I have started myself to try to get stuff done but I have realized that's not good and that messes with my sleep messes with me being able to work out because I'm worried about this this and that when I should just y'all my camera cut off so I don't know if you guys got the last part but I was just talking about going with the flow and let the vibes be the vibe because that's what we're going for but definitely we've been cutting back on spinning which is pretty good and i'm pretty proud of myself for taking those big decisions because sometimes it's the little things that become the big decisions that help you on your savings journey whatever journey it definitely helps you so i'm glad that i did that and your girl is just ready to you know get this license i'm trying to get my license this month I kind of talked about that in my last video, which was my life update. I'm trying to get my license this month. So that's another thing. License, I don't even know. Because some people are saying you don't have to pay for your license. But then there's some people saying you do. But either way, I want to be prepared for expenses like that that really matter. Like, I don't, it's not like I'm broke. <laughs> I'm not broke. But you don't want to, like, take a big hit from your bread and then, like, feel like oh my god i could have you know saved more money than that like even if you're not broke you could literally have twenty thousand dollars and you go spend a thousand you feel like you're broke and that's like literally this situation like you will have money but you'll just be like once you have to spend like a certain amount of that money you'll feel like oh i'm broke so like when you think about things like that you're like okay i got a big thing that i'm saving up for that really matters or a big thing that i have coming up i have the money for but it really matters and it's just like oh when my account take this hit or when i spend on this thing i don't want to feel like i don't want to feel like i'm broke when i'm not if you get what i'm saying i i think you guys understand what i'm saying but yeah um with me getting my license there's gonna be a lot of changes because i'm gonna finally be able to drive like kind of with that weight off of my shoulders but i just definitely want to be prepared for that like definitely do a good re 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 refresher to make sure i got everything down packed before i go there because i'm gonna take this test one and done i'm not trying to keep taking it taking it taking it i want to be one and done and like i said probably gonna be getting a car soon like I said, I was saving up for a cash car, but I'm definitely considering um, financing a car. But either way, I need to have bread, like a good amount of bread for both of those things. But I'm definitely going to be getting a car soon. By soon, I mean like a couple of months because it has to happen because I crave independency so much. And when I get to that point that I can fund those things for my independency, it's like... A moment of awe so that's why I'm thinking about like things of like working a little bit more hours even though I work a good amount of hours for being a college student I'm just thinking about things like that working a little bit more hours so I can get to a little bit more savings than I'm yielding I'm yielding a good amount of savings right now but if I could yield a little bit more like why not but as I was talking about, let's get back to the video topic because I did run off a little bit. That was a very toxic experience and I learned from it. I gained from it even though it was toxic. And I came out with being in a better situation, which I that's what I wanted for myself. I just didn't know when it was going to happen, how it was going to happen, but it happened. And I'm happy it happened and I definitely want to showcase this person because why not? So I hope you guys learned from what I talked about today. I know I didn't really say much but I said enough to the point that you guys understand it. Understand it. Understand my situation and I hope you guys chime down below about your toxic relationship that you have experienced. Before I go, um... If, as far as like toxic relationships in your family, been through those as well. Sometimes you can't completely cut off a toxic relationship in your family. Maybe because you live with a person or you're around this person a lot. Sometimes you don't 
sometimes because you can't completely cut the person off you have to cut back on certain stuff you used to do with a person so for example let's say you and this person always on the phone together like most of the time you probably cut back on that like stuff like that will relinquish some of that toxic behavior off of you while not cutting this person completely off because you know there will be like a problem from you cutting the person from you off. it's like you cutting them off but you're not if you get what i'm saying so stuff like that that you'll go through i've been through toxic relationship with friends like friends from high school that i thought were gonna be there for me like forever i was always there for them i was always the one hitting them up like i'm always like that i'm always hitting people up and always being there for somebody but there comes a certain point of time that you being the person that always is there for someone where you realize that this person doesn't care about you this person you know it's just not it's just not a 50-50 relationship it's like you giving 100 and this person is giving zero or they're not giving as much you realize you just have to cut it off and i've been through that and i recently acquainted with one of these people while i was out with my significant other and i was like i was telling my significant i don't know i was telling my significant other i was like yeah i knew this person from high school and we were really cool and i used to tell them about personal situations and stuff like that she used to tell me personal situations but it was more so me telling them about personal situations and we were really cool you was always chop it up text and all that good stuff <sighs> but yeah and then this person just stopped contacting me i don't know where i want to say like after i graduated high school it was just like a big rift in that relationship and that was a person that i was very cool with and spoke to them a lot so that did kind of i don't want to say it hurt my feelings but it definitely added on to me putting a safeguard with having friends and that's why i don't really I don't really have much friends because I know what people can do. I know how fake people can be. So with that, I don't have a lot of female friends. Like literally, you could basically say I don't have any friends, but I do have friends like people that I talk to on a day to day basis, but I don't really hang out with. But that's another thing I want to change for myself. I definitely want to have like not too much friends, maybe like a couple of friends that I can, you know, talk to stuff like that because you never want to feel like you're just in your corner your corner alone because yes i have friends that i still text that i'm close with but as far as like hanging out like i don't hang out with nobody so except for my significant other so we definitely want to change that in 2022 and i've been trying to make strides to do that but still have my safeguard up because of the toxic things that i'm going through but that's pretty much it i covered everything i wanted to talk about like i said chime in down below let me know about these toxic relationships what did you do to combat them what went through in these situations like i want to know the whole shebang shaboom because this day and age girls go through a lot of toxic things on their own even with people around giving them advice but if you're still in that relationship or if you're still you know like you're still engaging in it you got one foot in one foot out it's gonna be hard for you completely let it go and i'm happy i let it go because boy oh boy who knows where i would be today if i did not let it let that situation go back in october who knows where i would be i don't know because I literally contemplated everything that would have went down because death threats from this person. I don't want to do too much, but I got, let's just say I got death threats from this person. And baby, we don't got time. There's one, there's one thing about you feeling suicidal and never acting on it, but getting death threats from somebody. Two different things. Two different dragons that you're slaying there but baby where would i be where would i be so with that being said that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this little girl talk because this was definitely well needed for me to just express myself a vibe with you guys because nobody knew about this situation there was probably like a handful of people on youtube that knew a little bit about it but 
as far as like all my subscribers know about it and my upcoming subscribers my new subscribers and this being out on social media nobody knew about it so me opening up it's a big thing for me because i barely open up to anybody like put a safeguard on my feelings so when i open up to you that means something but that is the end of today's video make sure you guys go ahead and check out Naraya nicole's channel as i said all her information will be in the icard description and on the screen make sure you follow me on instagram at haitiandoll.sophia my instagram is always on the screen and it's linked down below and it's in my bio make sure you like comment and share give me appreciate all the like comment and shares subscribe to my channel so you become part of the dollhouse today make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss none of my saucy and fire content and without further ado that is the end of today's video with love and care be blessed and don't be stressed not with my call hitchin dot sophia Oh, that damn shanty. Oh, that